Greetings Internet, this is Dustin again with My Home Kit Home and today we'll be looking at how to add and remove accessories using Apple's Home app. Now I typically recommend that we do use the manufacturer's app when setting up a device just to make sure that our firmware is all up to date and oftentimes we have some features that we can find in the manufacturer's app that, is, that aren't available with HomeKit. But if you're feeling rebellious, this is how to do so. So from the Home tab we can tap that plus button on the top right and we can add accessory or add a scene video coming soon or from any room in the rooms tab we can do the same so we'll go ahead and tap add accessory and we'll be prompted to scan our home kit code before we do so we want to make sure that our device is plugged in powered on and nearby so we'll go ahead and scan that there code Beautiful, and we'll tap on the device, make sure that those are paired. Go ahead and let this go to our Wi-Fi network, transfer all those settings. Now, why all of this is being set up? Leave us a comment down below. How do you like to set up your accessories? Do you use Apple's Home app? Do you prefer to use the manufacturer's app? Or do you have a different process altogether? Let us know. You can also give us a big thumbs up on this video. You can hit the subscribe button. That bell notification is always very, very useful if you want to be notified whenever we put out new content. You can also check us out over at Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and we always have more delicious content over at myhomekithome.com. And just like that, we're finished. So we can go ahead and change the name of this. Now this is the name that Siri will recognize, so you'll want to title it something that is going to be easy for you to remember. Since there is a fan connected to this plug, I'm going to go ahead and call it, well, fan. You can put this into any room, and by default, Apple puts it into, well, the default room. But you can change it to any existing room that you may have already set up in your home. Apple also gives you some suggestions down at the bottom below the rooms there, or you can put it into a brand new room altogether. Now, since this is a outlet, I'm going to go ahead and actually, I'm going to go ahead and put this into my dining room. I think that'll be good. Since this is an outlet and it does have three different types, you can have it just as a smart outlet. You can have it as a light, which you can then change the icon to represent a standing lamp or a desk lamp or an overhead, etc. Since this is a fan, we'll tap on fan and you can see that we have the nifty little animation there that tells us the fan is on. So we'll tap done. All right, we'll go over to the dining room there we go we can see there's our fan we can turn it on we can turn it off and we can turn it on we can turn it off now for some reason you might want to remove the accessory sometimes the accessory is not working properly or maybe you want to sell it or give it away here's how you want to do that before you do a factory reset so we'll long press or 3d touch on the accessory We'll tap on details, scroll all the way down to the bottom. We'll hit remove accessory. And we'll confirm that. And there you go. The accessory should be removed from your home kit information. Before you give this away or before you sell it, you want to make sure that you do a factory reset on the device itself to avoid any headaches in the future. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. And until next time, this has been Dustin with my home kit. Home.